Hello guys and welcome to a new video of Fantastic Mesh. This is Ahmad Sadiq and I'm going to show you the new feature that I have implemented in Fantastic Mesh which is how to specify the boundary conditions of your case and then exporting it to open form to begin your solution. Let's begin with a circle. This circle I'm drawing this circle and then right click and making grid into it. After making grid, I am going to ungroup those quadrilateral cells and select this, deleting it, then grouping them again into the circle. After that, we are going to the extrusion panel. I am going to extrude it with 40 millimeters and I'm going to extrude it with one segment because I am I am going to use the ICO form pressing solid extrude this is my mesh in the 3D clicking on my mesh and deselecting the attached grid touchable grid this touchable grid because I, I don't want to be selected now going to the boundary panel and this surface will be moving and this surface is going to be fixed so I'm going to select wall and clicking on this wall and right fixed wall clicking add patch and then selecting visible region elements I'm on the fixed wall so I am going to select here this is a fixed wall selecting the wall again and writing moving wall okay this is the moving wall and adding the patch actually actually this is the moving wall so I'm clicking it again this is the moving wall and the fixed wall will be will be this okay. and for the two-dimensional case selecting the empty boundary condition clicking the above this is an empty and clicking the down faces this is also an empty and empty boundary conditions if you are if you want to make sure that you have selected the right thing the right thing expand this properties window and click on this face will tell you here that this is a wall and the patch name is called fixed wall if you click on the above surface it will tell you that this is an empty patch type and the name is empty name so now let's begin the magic let me hide these things and let me get the open form tab on the right this is a nice feature and let me click the refresh in the grid properties the grid properties now have the nodes XYZ faces and cells and the boundaries I have an empty boundary fixed wall boundary moving wall boundary the the new open form tab can you see and here you can see what will be exported to the open form case this is a preview if you look at the open form panel and the first one is the constant properties I can click the transport and when clicking the, to the transport key you can view the transport properties the object name is transport properties and it will be exported with that name this is as I remember this is a nusselt number with the dimensions okay and second tab is the initial conditions let me try to write the first condition which is u this is, is the speed 
the speed and I'm going to select the speed as you can see fantastic mesh has all the required quantities to select from it the speed will be in vector rank clicking enter will enter this u this is the speed then we select or write the p p is the specific energy here in fantastic form it's called something else actually in open form in the case of and it is color well, let's and let's click it. enter so there is the p pressure okay and the pressure here is empty as you can see the preview of your text and the clicking you also is empty so in the p in the internal field value for p it will be zero right zero the empty interface will be empty fixed wall will be zero gradient and I as, I as I remember because I had errors before moving all will be a fixed value and the fixed value will be zero let's hope this is uh, this is right whenever you are changing in this window the preview window will show you exactly what will be exported let's go to the U the velocity moving wall we are going to select fixed value with uh, one speed in x and zero and zero now going to the fixed wall can you see the moving wall with value uniform one zero zero okay fixed wall will be also fixed value but with zero 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 there is no speed on the fixed wall empty empty conditions will be an empty the value of empty and internal field for the velocity will be also zero 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 so now you can see the preview of of speed or velocity and the preview of pressure and you can also try to see the system tab the system tab con contains the three files of control schemes and solution uh, in the solution you can see solvers and solvers has p and u uh, of course you can add anything as like rr add but actually we don't need this rr if you are rr and write something like this and value and try to see things you will see this is rr but actually we don't want it so right click and delete it uh, schemes and control mm, end time and start the time all of these are inherited from the documentations of open form hopefully I put it right so now we have all the con required conditions in the system then we click the export and let's name this case um, um, ROR case what's the meaning of this I don't know ROR case then let's go to Linux going into Linux and I was uh, yes this going to ROR yes and write icoform wow it solved it then paraform to see what has happened apply um, selecting the pressure uh, click uh, this is uh, very good let's blue and red okay this is only a four frame or five frames uh, let's see the velocity the velocity uh, vectors apply and then GLY pH apply and selecting the vector as off edit 
I don't think. Okay, apply. And here is the velocity vectors. Running the velocity vectors. Wow, it it did some fantastic. Um, <laughs> this is strange. Okay, this is our case solved by exporting the case from Fantastic Mesh to the Open Form. Uh, thank you very much for listening to this video and don't forget to subscribe to the Fantastic Mesh. Okay. This is the page of the Fantastic Mesh. Don't forget to subscribe to the page and uh, the software will be released after I finish the website. I hope that you subscribe when the website is finished. I hope that you subscribe and download the software and if uh, and for the open source open sourcing the software I'm going to open source the software later however I want to have your feedback thank you thank you